Long ago, in a time of ancient, timeless time, when mystical warriors roamed the land, the most awesome kung fu fighters in all of China, the Furious Five, protected the Valley of Peace. But soon would appear a fighter of such extreme skill and legendary bodacity that even the Furious Five would bow in respect to this amazing hero, the Dragon Warrior. To tell that story, we must go back, back to the beginning, when the Dragon Warrior was just a dream. Okay, he was just totally dreaming. Even when faced with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the warrior didn't flinch, because he was that much of a master. The Master's reflection in the Sword of Heroes looked especially brave today. It's him! Not him! Yes, him! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh, shut up! Let's go! I am Kai Lung, and you are no master! <laughs> hey, what? Son, quit daydreaming. I got four orders for my famous secret ingredient soup and only two hands! Come on! Okay, Dad. And I was just getting to the good part. Okay, so even though the warrior dreamed of being a kung fu master, he knew he had a little work to do. I mean, he had some moves, but he wasn't exactly, you know, a kung fu legend yet. Unfortunately, his dad wanted him to be more like the master of noodles. Still, the warrior totally knew that one day he'd be legendary, like the greatest of kung fu heroes, the Furious Five. Who, it turned out, were about to compete in the ultimate tournament of kung fu explosiveness to see which of them would be named the Dragon Warrior. Oh yeah. The warrior knew he had to see the five in action, and nothing was going to stand in his way. Okay, well, almost nothing. That's using the old noodle. I am Tigress, master of the tiger style. I am ready to fight! Use Master Tigress's mighty kung fu skills to defeat the juggernaut. Aim for the target on the juggernaut's chest. Double jump while in the air.
since the dragon warrior is among us. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, Master Ugwe will now choose the dragon warrior. Sorry, I just wanted to see who the Dragon Warrior is. Uh, Master, are you pointing at me? Him? Who? You. The universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> me? Okay, so this is where the legend of the Dragon Warrior really takes off. See, Master Uwe was sure the universe had brought them the Chosen One. But Master Shifu was kind of a tough sell. He didn't really think the warrior was who he was supposed to be. He thought maybe it was all kind of an accident. So did the Five. Actually, even the hero was a little surprised. But when the warrior finally saw the Furious Five in action, oh yeah! He totally knew he was in the right place. Looking for me, Poe? Master v Viper? Wow. You even know my name. Of course I do. But I'm afraid your good fortune is about to run out. This is my room and my record. Both are unbeatable. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. That wasn't so bad. You know, I've seen worse. Yeah, all the time. I just use my fancy kung fu moves is all. Do not be fooled, Panda. You still have a long way to go if you are indeed the Dragon Warrior, as Master Ugwe believes. Okay, so how much time do you think this is gonna take? A long, long, long time. Oh. As the hero trained, his legend spread across the land, even reaching the dark depths of Chorgom Prison, where Tai Lung waited. When Tai Lung heard that someone else would be granted the Dragon Scroll, he burned with rage! He knew it was time to escape and claim what was rightfully his. But first, he'd send Shifu a message. As Zhang, the palace goose, flew home to tell Master Shifu of Tai Lung's escape, a dark storm gathered. Soon Tai Long would return, and when he did, it would determine the fate of the Valley of Peace. Intruder! Oh, Intruder! Oh, oh, more! 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 You've got to stop him! Oops! Uh-oh. Aha! Challenge the Black Hook Boar Clan!
What happened here? I see. You did well, Panda. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. Cause you know, I used my super panda bamboo awesomeness and yeah, I was only pretending to be asleep. And you know, these guys came in and I went, Watch out! Focus! I need you to focus. While we were in the village, we heard that the croc gang has invaded Lotus Lake. Word is starting to spread about Tai Lung. We've got to do something. Master Crane, why don't you and Poe go see what you can find out? Whoa! Me and Master Crane? Oh, woohoo! Oh, it'll be fun. Let me get my stuff! Me and Crane are going on a mission! Woo! Since the awesome Dragon Warrior had defeated the Croc Gang's toughest guy and broke their hold over Lotus Lake, he began to get, you know, sort of a reputation. Even Master Shifu began to take notice. Phew! Finally! But even though he began to see something in the Dragon Warrior, the five didn't, especially Tigress, who totally wanted to take on Tai Lung herself. So Master Shifu led the Chosen One deep into the Wudan Mountains, which everybody knows is where Master Ugwe invented Kung Fu. Oh, that is totally freaking awesome! Anyway, Shifu had an idea. If the Chosen One couldn't be trained same as the Five, he was going to try something, you know, more on his level. Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. Gorilla and his minions. My territory! What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Your ginormousness ness. Uh, especially not looking for any super sacred kung fu relics. What the? Heads up! Trap balls again. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have found the Shifu fig-
Like panda style, baby. Well done. Woo! You did not suck. Gee, thanks. Even though the Dragon Warrior had prevailed against the Imperial Golden Croc Gang, there was bigger stuff happening. The five had gone to fight Tai Lung themselves. But as awesome as they were, Shifu knew they were no match for Tai Lung. He had to find them. By now, word of Tai Lung's escape had reached the Lang Shadow Army the most sinister, snarling, stealth-fighting wolves in China. Yeah, those guys. They knew Tai Lung from his time in the Outlands. And if he was back, it was time to turn the Valley of Peace into the Valley of Pieces. But Tai Lung just wanted the Dragon Scroll and to fight this so-called Chosen One. He didn't expect the Furious Five showing up, which they did, and challenging him to a fight, which there was. And it was the most impossibly high-leaping kung fu righteousness ever! Very amusing. But are those really the best chief who has? There is only one who is worthy to fight me. So where is this dragon warrior? How do you know it's not me? You? <laughs> you forget, I was there at the beginning, when you were just a young cub. Are you the favorite now? <laughs> Okay, leave it to the little guy. so tough. Think we should celebrate? Are you kidding? Shifu taught you well, but not well enough. Furious Five defeated, Tai Lung was now one step closer to the Dragon Scroll. And if Master Shifu got in the way, Tai Lung would finally avenge being denied his destiny of becoming the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I want my scroll! Not good. Master Shifu knew that if Tai Lung got the Dragon Scroll, limitless power would finally be his. He couldn't let that happen. All they could do now was trust Master Ugwe's choice. Only the true Dragon Warrior could stand up to Tai Lung and bring peace. But nobody ever said the Dragon Warrior would be good at directions. In fact, by now, he was totally lost. Even worse, he had wandered into the base camp of the Wu Sisters, the most lethal ninja cat fighting force in the known universe! <laughs> Hmm. 
Mmm, smells good. Man, I must have missed dinner. And I'm starving. Hello? Excuse me? Anyone? I'm, uh, a little lost. And a lot hungry. Woo, sisters. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, sisters. A big lost panda who's so sad. And, uh, don't forget hungry. What can we do to help this big lost panda so hungry for information that he'd spy on our camp? What? Maybe we can help him find his way. Find my own way. This so big, so sad, and so lost panda is <laughs> saying so long. Oh, sweet! A map! Now maybe I can figure out how to get back to the palace. It is said that when the dragon warrior returned and saw the Furious Five defeated, Master Shifu did the only thing left that could stop Tai Lung. He presented the dragon scroll to the dragon warrior. Oh, sweet! But, uh, the dragon scroll was blank. What? Oh, uh, however, it is also said that even though it was blank, it had a meaning so mystical and awesome that nobody understood it. Oh, great. <sighs> okay, so with Tai Lung closing in, the dragon warrior left with the scroll, thinking that Tai Lung would chase its awesome ultimate power forever. Um, even though it was blank and leave the village in peace. Now Master Shifu would face Tai Lung completely alone. Whoa! I have come home, Master. This is no longer your home, and I am no longer your master. Ah, oh, yes. You have a new favorite. So where is this Po? <laughs> Did I scare him off? This battle is between you and me. There doesn't have to be a battle. Just give me what is mine. Give me the Dragon Scroll. I cannot. <laughs> What? Where is the Dragon Scroll? Safe from you. We shall see. Tear this palace apart! But where is Tai Long? It must be here. Find it. I want the Dragon Scroll! Tell me where you put it, old man. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It's not for you.
For 20 years I rotted in jail because of your betrayal. Now, give me what I deserve. You are not the Dragon Warrior. It is not for you. Enough! I will find it myself. Destroy him!
Congratulations, you have found the... Everything I did, I did to make you proud. Tell me how proud you are of me now, Shifu. Tell me! Tell me! And it was my pride that blinded me to what you were becoming. I... I am sorry. I don't want your pity, I want my scroll. For the last time. Where is it? Far away from you. The real Dragon Warrior has taken it. You see, it is not your destiny. So the story goes that as every bad guy in China descended to loot the village and Tai Lung fought Shifu for the Dragon Scroll, true heroes were made that day. It is said that in order for a true hero to fulfill his destiny, he must face three overwhelming obstacles. His mistakes, his enemies, and his beginnings. Um, but it doesn't say anywhere in there how much going through all of that can totally and completely suck. Sorry, big guy. The store's closed. Huh? One more step, and, and you're done for. Ooh, boy! What the fool? Take the scroll and leave the village! 
Yeah, I know. But Dad said there's no secret ingredient to the secret ingredient soup. Um, and so, well, I think I really am the Dragon Warrior. Uh, that's good. Glad that's settled. So, what now, Dragon Warrior? I gotta get back to the palace and master Shifu. Uh, okay. Then those ships are going to be our problem. Ships? What ships? Right. Be right there. Oh, yeah. Get ready to feel the thunder. Because the chosen one has crossed the river. Uh-huh. That's right. <clears throat> Oh, uh, uh, hi. I was just, uh, gathering my, uh, chi. Yeah. Good idea. Oh! The path to the palace has been destroyed. I'll clear you another one past those ships behind the water tower. Water tower? Hey! We can use that to sink both of those ships! One, two, bang, done. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Meet me when I give the signal. First, I'll have to take care of those archers. What archers? But how did you... Don't leave me hanging, Master Monkey. <clears throat> Not bad, Paul. Not bad. The legend of the Dragon Warrior is ancient and epic. It is shrouded in mind-bending eternal mysteries and legendary kung fu teachings from the awesome masters of the ages. Uh, it's also the only one where really good noodle soup plays a critical role. Even with all that, the Dragon Warrior still struggled to believe in the universe, in the prophecy, and in himself as he faced his greatest challenge. Give me the scroll. The Dragon Warrior has taken the scroll. It's halfway across China by now. You will never have that scroll, Tai Lung. Hey! Remember? Ah. Whew. Scares. Paul, <sighs> what are you doing? Let him go. Ah. Who are you? Uh. Haven't I... Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. You? Him? He's a panda. What are you going to do, big guy? <laughs> Sit on me? <laughs> Don't tempt me. Nah, I'm gonna use this. Defeat 
tight lung and just... A guy scroll? <laughs> Finally. Now to embrace my true destiny. There's nothing. You don't get it, do you? What? Ultimate power doesn't come from a piece of paper. It comes from within. Defeat me? You're just a big fat panda! I'm not a big fat panda. I'm the big fat panda. Well done, Poe. You've obtained the Super Iron Belly technique. Now, use it to defeat Tai Lung.
Huh. Wow. I almost felt that one. <gasps> the Wu Shi Finger Hold. You know this hold. Then you also know that the hardest thing about this hold is cleaning up afterwards. <sighs> Shifu didn't teach you that hold. You're right. I figured it out myself. Skidoosh! It's been said the Dragon Warrior ultimately found his way when he chose to look in the right direction, inside himself. Even the Five saw it his way. The hero wasn't the only one to find his way. Master Shifu is now at one with the universe. Or meditating. Or taking a nap. Or something. Master Shifu looked almost kinda happy. It was a little scary. But with Tai Lung defeated and the village at peace, the Dragon Warrior could now join his master in his meditation. Some say that he achieved inner peace that night, others that he fully embraced his destiny. But all agree that he underwent a significant transformation. Luckily, he had a change of clothes on hand. Yeah, that is awesome! But there was no time to bask in the glory. For there were still wrongs to right, innocence to protect, butts to kick. Truly the stuff of legend. Uh, but that's a another story. <laughs>